In this video, I'm going to show you how I replace the back of a bookcase to make it stronger. Thanks for checking out the Almost Engineer channel. If you are interested in tech tutorials, home improvement tutorials, or automotive tutorials, please consider subscribing to the channel. So this is a bookcase that I've had for some time now and through years of moving it around from room to room and location to location over time it has gotten weaker. So what I've actually done is had to move it and disassemble it partially. As you see here I have it on a painting cloth to prevent scratches from getting on the front of it and the reason why it's kind of weak is because of the backing of it is made out of cardboard which is not really a strong and sturdy material um, but it did serve the purpose while it was originally set up so what i did was disassemble the part and then basically reassemble the bottom half of the bookshelf and i'm leaving the cardboard in place so that the finish of the back of the bookcase is still the same. The other side of the cardboard that's there has a similar bookcase finish. So I'm taking the measurements and so you wanna take the measurements from top to bottom and then uh, left to right. Next, I set up my plywood on some saw horses and then I measured and drew my straight line using a straight edge. In this case, I am using a level for a straight edge. So then using a two by four, I used it as a rip fence. And so it's just a matter of clamping it down by measuring the width of the saw from the fence. And then to confirm, I just used a tape measure to make sure the distance between the line and the rip fence material was the same from the starting point to the ending point, and then clamped it down. And then just cut the piece of plywood. Now you can use a table saw or a circular saw for this purpose, either one will get the job done. Next, I took the cut piece of plywood and placed it on the back of the bookcase. And then I proceeded to make sure and align it to each of the corners. I did end up having a little bit of overlap over the edges, but nothing too major that you can't pay attention to. And also the bottom part of the bookcase was slightly out of square, so I did realign that accordingly. Next, I proceeded to drill holes through the plywood and the bookcase. And this is to make sure that the wood does not split when securing the screws to the bookcase. Uh, it's given that the edge of the bookcase is very close to the edge of the plywood. If you don't pre-drill your holes first, you risk splitting the plywood or the wood on the bookcase. To draw a straight line of where the wood is set in, from the edge, I used my square and then just a pencil marking uh, from all the way down and just pulled the square all the way down the length of the plywood. And this will give me a guideline of where the center of the bookcase edge is. And I can just follow that line all the way down when I am attaching the screws. This ensures that you don't have any kind of blowout on either side of the wood of your bookcase or you drill through the edges. Then I proceeded to pre-drill the holes all the way down the line on each side and around each of the edges. Each of the holes that I'm drilling is roughly between four and six inches apart. Uh, the spacing uh, depends on the type of material that you're using this bookcase is actually made out of uh, fiber MDF fiber board or particle board. So, you know, you want to make sure that it is secured and this may be more screws than necessary, but it's better to build something that's way stronger than it needs to be than to underbuild it and have it collapse. Once I was finished, I stood up the bookcase and ensured that it was able to stand up on its own. There are some screws that had to be tightened, so I went ahead and re-tightened those. 
And once done, you can see here the bookcase is actually standing up on its own now with the reinforced backing, which before it was not able to do. Hopefully this video has given you insight in how to reinforce your bookcase so that you can make it stronger. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comment section below. Also, please like and comment and subscribe and please follow me on Instagram and Twitter at almost ENGR.